limelight. I thought NEMA would act, I thought the Public Health Ministry would act, I thought someone in government would act. Until I, I began and then I realized that, that the system actually wasn't working and something in me kept persisting and that is what I have been doing, just been persistent all through. Um, until now, we are in court, we put in a class action litigation suit um, to challenge the responsibility of both the state and the two corporations that were behind the poisoning of, of the, the community, on the right to a clean and healthy environment, on access to information, on public participation, so many of the rights of the Unohu community that were violated in this case. We'll be right back after the short break. You're still watching My Story, My Glory, and today we are with Phyllis, the activist and the freedom fighter of Owinohuro. Welcome back. You're still watching My Story, My Glory. So Phyllis, tell me, uh, did Mombasa, personal, or Kenya, did they acknowledge your work, causing, uh, to my understanding, you have been acknowledged all over the world? One awards. You are always everywhere, every day, <laughs> because of what you are doing. How did Kenya, especially, cause of seeing your fight with Mombasa people? How did they react to it? How did they for me, it's, it's quite unfortunate because for it's been we started in 2010. This is 2018. Yeah. It's been eight years, um, and I have received mostly criticism from home yeah. and um, acknowledgement from outside Kenya for the work yeah. that I do. This year, though, I was very humbled because I received uh, an award from the county government of Mombasa in recognition of what I'm doing. And uh, I think just yesterday we got a call from Nairobi. There is an organization that is giving me a Mother's Day award. Um, so this, these are the, actually the first two awards that I've received um, here locally and recognition for the work that we've done. But I think most people uh, in Kenya are yet to understand uh, environmental activism. They are yet to understand the work that we do and uh, they, have, they are yet to relate it. So I think for me it's a challenge to get our people back home because now um, we are seeing Mother Nature raving. We are dealing right now with the Subukia issue where the dam burst. When we speak against construction of these dams, people do not relate to it. They think we are anti-economy. But there is no way that the economy will flourish when we are fighting against ecology. We have to have a balance, and that is what the work that we do as environmental rights defenders. We are bringing up the issues that much as we are growing our economy, we need also to ensure that we are not destroying the, the, the ecology as well in the process. After leaving your work and becoming a charity event organization, how do you, are you still enjoying your life as what you're doing now, like in employment and all that? What is the difference? There is, a, there is a big difference. Uh, I mean, I, I have more privilege now than I had before. I have I traveled a lot. I have access to any country that I want to go to. I, I get my visas more easily, which is, which is um, the positive side. But on the negative side also, um, my work has disconnected me from my friends, from my family. My son doesn't see me as much as he would like to. I have lost touch with my social life. So there is both there is good both and good and bad, yeah. um, but I am hoping that um, as I work I can mentor more people to take over what I do. I can bring up more people that will understand um, the reason I do what I do and why it's important to do what I do and I can move to a more retiring role. That way maybe I'll enjoy the work more because I'll have more time to spend with my family and friends. Yeah, and uh, somebody asked me to ask you this. Owinokoro, mm -hmm. are you a landowner in Owinokoro? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not a landowner, though I have paid the land rates for the Uruguay community after we received the Goldman Award. And uh, that is because I wanted to ensure the land um, tenure for the community because there's no way we can go to court um, to argue a case on environmental pollution when the land ownership is in dispute. So we have fought really hard for the Uruguay community to own the land Hold. because of that. Are you okay? Mostly. Okay, yes, even. Uh, Robert. Uh, I cut. I can't have it. Uh, I can't.